questions to uh, Kim Cora. One in relation to uh, the, the health bill um, and the other in relation to uh, bills that have already been pa passed through the House and their implementation uh, relative to uh, care workers. And the report in the paper over the weekend uh, about the alleged sexual abuse that had taken place uh, on the borders of Kilkenny and Waterford over a 20-year period, which was reported uh, to the HSE, and no action was taken. And surely, under the whistleblower's legislation, uh, when that type of accusation is made, uh, and where it is shown that procurement practices have been breached, and substantial taxpayers' money have been paid uh, to carry out reports, and in some cases to assist in the cover-up of those sexual, uh, that sexual abuse, um, could I ask you what action uh, government or the minister can now take uh, to ensure that all of this is brought to a head Thank under you. the various pieces of legislation? Taoiseach. And sec secondly, could, could I ask you, Taoiseach, to uh, comment on the protest outside the House today well, uh, from a that. Kilkenny family, whom I know that you have met, in relation to the provision of uh, Jake's Law. Uh, that case has been made to you on the basis of the death of their child in the housing estate and the introduction of speed limits. Now, I'm told that you may be considering the introduction of legislation around this. And could I ask you, is that the case? And uh, would you support legislation which would bring in that speed limit, the speed limit to deal with the concerns raised by that family? Sure. Um, I don't have the details of the uh, abuse cases that you mentioned. Maybe I've read some of them, Deputy uh, McGuinness. Um, but I'll, 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 have a, I'll have you advised as to what options are open now, either in respect of the whistleblowers legislation or the implementation <coughs> of bills that have already been put through here. It's a serious matter. I'll, I'll advise Deputy, Deputy uh, McGuinness of that. I have to say that um, I... I I commiserate and again tender my sympathy to Roseanne Brennan on the death of her little son, Jake, knocked down by a car who ran to his mother and subsequently died. Now, I, I met with, um, with Mrs. Brennan uh, myself. Uh, the Minister for Transport has met with her, I think, on five occasions uh, in regard to this matter. The government do not intend to oppose the private member's um, bill this evening. But Deputy McGuinness will be aware that in determining speed limits, there are a number of uh, agencies that are involved, the local authority, the road transport, the guard, the, the Department of the Environment, and residents themselves. So I would hope that, um, that uh, where it's appropriate, uh, that you know, a very careful reflection would be given to what the, the bill is about, arising from the sad case that um, Mrs. Brennan uh, has brought to national attention. I was happy to meet her, as indeed was the Minister of Transport. The government are not opposing the bill this evening, you can call it.